Hi everyone, in this short video I will show you how to use the style tags to format headings in the template. For this demonstration I've created a skeleton template of the dissertation template which includes some of the important headings for the dissertation. You'll notice here in chapter 1 background problem statement purpose of the study. And then down in chapter 2 the initial headings lit search strategy theoretical foundation literature review. Before I show you how to format headings, let's take a look at the style options. In the Home tab, you'll see here a list of options presented horizontally. What I encourage you to do is open up the vertical menu. You can grab it and move it around. I like to lock it out to the right side. You can also grab this left margin and shrink it so the menu is not occupying too much of the visible screen that you're working on. You open that again by clicking that arrow just like that to open up the styles menu. Now notice that in the template in addition to the five standard APA headings there's also a level zero heading. This was added for the purpose of making sure that important headings are included in the table of contents when that TOC is updated. The first level zero heading is the list of tables in the front matter. Notice that it's tagged over here as APA level 0. The second is the list of figures also tagged as APA level 0. And then chapter headings in the dissertation template and section headings in, uh, in the doctoral study templates are also tagged as APA level 0. Notice that body text is, or excuse me, notice that paragraph text is tagged as body text. That's very important. Body text is the root tag for both paragraphs and headings. I've already taken the liberty of formatting some of these essential headings in the template by tagging them as APA Level 1. Let's go down to the Literature Review section of Chapter 2 and insert some headings. What I encourage you to do is type a clean heading using body text and then you can highlight the heading or you can place the cursor at the beginning or anywhere in between and apply the appropriate tag in this case APA level 1 notice that the tag does all of the work of formatting the heading you do not need to apply bolding and you do not need to center the heading in fact you should not do either of those things simply type a clean body text heading and then highlight and tag and let the tag do its work. In addition to the proper formatting, this heading will now be included in the table of contents when the table of contents is updated and the heading will not be stranded at the bottom of a page. All of that work is done by the special settings that are designed in the style tag. To repeat, you should not manually format your headings in the template. Let's do another one. Let's say you've decided that this one is going to be APA level 2. Watch what happens. You did not need to bold. You did not need to left justify as you did in your course papers and your prospectus. Instead, you let the heading tag do the work for you. Let's do a third heading. This time we're going to choose APA level 3. Notice that in APA 7, the, the level 3, 4, and 5 headings have changed. The APA Level 3 heading is now on its own line, cap, a title case, which you will have to apply yourself, bolded and italicized. That's the new formatting for APA Level 3. You notice that the template has APA Level 4. We did not include an APA Level 5 heading in the template because they are used so infrequently. You'll have to m manually format those on your own. To repeat, Simply type a new heading as clean body text and then highlight or place the cursor anywhere in front of or in the middle of and click the heading tag. That's all you need to do.